kickstart demonstration of House Designer. So this is the app. It's this one with the green uh, paintbrush and green background. So let me go to full screen. There was a couple of things, I think, <coughs> that I've learned so far. Go to View in the Apple Toolbar, Measurements, put it on Hidden. Because uh, if you got detailed measurements, the interior room measurements and the exterior detailed measurements often are, don't match by an inch be just because of the programming. I don't know if that's a, something that developers have been trying to resolve or, or what. Now I'm going to put the first icon on the left is a selection tool. Second one is the room, I call it the room builder, build squares. Third one is the line, the line builder, line maker. And the fourth one is the <coughs> move around tool. Okay, let's go. So I got the room builder selected. Now I'm going to go over here to in the information tab, tab in the upper right corner. And I want to see my, I'm going to do the exterior walls. So I want to see they're on eight inches, which they are. I'm going to go ahead and change the floor to a light brown. Uh, these other ones are locked, and you get them when you uh, do the, in-app purchase for the for the pro version. Okay, so let's tap out of there. Now when you tap out and you're selecting on the room builder, <coughs> it starts a, a room or a line, whichever you're, have, you have selected. So Command-Z, I'm new to uh, Apple computers too. So now I've got the room builder selected. Here we go. I want to do a 24 by 50 room. So 24. Dang. Let me uh, go up to the menu, view, and zoom out. Need a little more space. Now I'm going to go to the selection tool because I can just as easily <coughs> grab these walls and pull. 50 right there, you know what I mean, and then down here, <coughs> excuse me, 24, right there. Now let me go back to, now I want to build lines on the inside. I've gone around and around, the most efficient way to do this, and I'm hoping this is it. I'm going to go to, now I want the lines, uh, <coughs> see now it pulled up wall that time instead of the other one, just as well. Six inches. Um, and s center them, and there's no way. I don't know what it means by center 0 0.5. Just don't know, but that's okay. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to do a center line that I'm probably going to, uh, well, I'm going to adjust later, but um, now, it gives you the interior room dimensions. So it's 25.4 over here, 24.2. I'm going to do the selection tool, upper left. I have to click it twice sometimes to get it to select. <coughs> or tap. Still practicing with the touchpad on my new MacBook. Okay, I'm going to... Now the selection tool. I'm going to move it until the right and left rooms are equal width. 24.8. 24.9, Got it. Now I'm going to go back to the room builder. Here's the deal. This could mess me up a little bit. So now I'm going to see if I can use the selection tool to pull this line down. This is just my, no, uh, command Z. <coughs> Excuse me. Selection tool to pull this line down. No. Uh, so let me not worry about that right now. Let's go back to the room builder. Now I have the room builder on six inch walls. Yes. I want. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. This is just as easy. 
I want to build a room that is, <coughs> excuse me, six feet on each side of that center line. So now let me go to the selection tool, grab it, and go down to six feet. I'll show you why in a minute. So, but there's more than one way to skin a cat, and uh, I've been trying to figure out the path of least resistance on this, and this looks like how it's coming out. Now, I am going to take off this center room. Oh, there you go. I can do it there just in the kitchen. That worked. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to Room Builder. I don't know why that popped up. Room Builder. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got six inch walls, interior. Six by 14, seven. That worked out. And these are two bathroom, bathrooms back to back. Six by 14, seven. Now I'm going to show you how to start adding interior features. Um, so that I covered uh, hiding the measurements and I covered exterior uh, as compared to interior wall thicknesses, how to set them. And I've learned myself command Z. Upper right corner plus. I'm going to go to kitchen and do a simple kitchen counter. You highlight it, click and drag. And then you can pull it. Uh, come on, I know you can. Now I got to go over to the selection tool. Um, right, which I drag it over. Now I want another one of those on the other wall because this is a galley kitchen. Deselect, another, uh, highlight, highlight. There you go. And. Uh, open it up. Now I want a kitchen sink. So I saw one. Here it is. Double sink. Drag it right there in the center. I want to deselect. I want a stove. Uh, this appears to be a stove. Drag it in the center of the back wall. Now I'm going to go and do a, I know this design because I've sketched it out before, more than once. I want a line because I'm going to do a shower stall in the bathroom, one meter interior width. And now this bathroom only ended up so long because I wanted 24 feet on the width. And um, I, the kitchen depth maxes out because I don't want more than five feet between the countertops. So I got nine minus two there, minus two there, it's at least five in the middle. It's four to five for an ample kitchen. Okay, now, so let me go back. Got my showers in. Let me put in, just to demonstrate real quick, plus sign, bathroom, scroll down, toilet. I want bidets in here, but I don't see the bidet thing, but let's call that a bidet. And both sides. Come on. Uh, hips. And the kitchen, I mean the bathroom sink is this one with the built on a pedestal, but it just uh, don't know if that's, you know, the one I'll use, but does the does the job for now. Go back up to doors. Now, kitchen door. This is a galley kitchen. Like I said, I want that to be a, like a garage to you to uh, garage to interior is usually two ten. I'm gonna do this one that. It, the, the swing now is the way I want it, but if you right-click on this, you can see you can flip horizontally, flip vertically. 
Seems like he has those versed in the code, but neither here nor there. Let me do another one. Um, oops. Okay, this one I'll have to flip. Three, one, and two, ten. So I will right click it. I'm going to flip vertically, even though it looks like I want to flip it horizontally. See, that did it. It flipped it horizontally. See, all right. Um, I think that's all I wanted to demonstrate. Let me look at the menus real quick. In the Apple toolbar, you can save it. Uh, you can undo position. I use that. Well, that's Control Z. So then there's view. Again, I hid the measurements. Um, window, did anything there, and help, I'm beyond. Okay, is that it? Was there something else? 3D, try that. There you go. And back to two, 2D. All kind of furniture and appliances and uh, this is an overall theme and again back to imperial units and canvas is 80 by oh yeah there's one more thing the um, page setup was down here. I think for my prints, I'm going to go, if I should print it, 12 by 18, but you, I don't know if that's common or not. Landscape, I want the page. All right, thank you, folks.